particular video is going to be on some conversions to help people understand what I'm talking about by making conversions instead of applying instead of applying uh, dimensional analysis. You can just do it by counting the base 10 and understanding that metric is base 10. And the reason they came up with metric was it would be easy to make changes. Clear? Okay. Okay, so let's do let's do one we just talked about. All right, we'll do one, so we don't have 1.38 or something. We'll just do one. Okay. Okay. One kilometer to centimeters. Okay. Yeah. If you want to write down a couple of rules that you'll actually look at once or twice and then forget them. Okay. All right. So kilometers, you're going from large to small. Correct. That's what the unit labels are doing, correct? Going from large to small, yes? So, you can write this down. If the unit labels are going from large to small, the number coefficient is going from small to large. You get that? If the, if this is going from small to large, let's do this at the same time. If that's going from small to large, the number is going from large to small. It's the opposite. Do you understand? If the unit label goes from large to small, the number coefficient goes from small to large and vice versa, okay? It's a, just a way to, it's a trick to remember this. And then you won't need it after three or four examples, okay? So, I want to convert this to centimeters, to centimeters right? Yes? Well, I know, that, I, what do I know? I know that there's, you look at, up in your chart, there's 10 to the third meters equals one kilometer. You have to know that. Is that hard to know? Yeah. You got to know something. Learning doesn't take place in a vacuum. If you don't know anything, you can't think about it. So memorizing stuff is not a bad thing. It's simply the beginning, right? And I know that there's uh, one meter equals 10 squared centimeters. So 10 to, the, 10 to the 3 times 10 to the 2 is 10 to the 5th. That's it. That's all I did. As the unit label gets small, the number coefficient, right? That's the variable, or in this case, that's going to be or go, it's going to be similar, similar, similar. This is similar to this, and this is similar to this, right? Correct, okay. Coefficient, coefficient, variable, what we call this unit label, okay? Is that okay? All right, so one centimeter is gonna be 10 to the what? 10 to the what? Negative fifth, correct? So it'll be 1 times 10 to the fifth, 1 times 10 to the fifth centimeters, 1 times 10 to the negative fifth kilometers. Now, can't you do different weird things to the 1? Let's say this was, you know, this was 960. So that would be 9.6 times 10 to the 2. So that would be 9.6 times 10 to the 7th, right? Just manipulating it. Clear? It's getting time, isn't it? Laura, I'm going to call you. Your nickname is going to be called the clock. Not because you watch the clock. It's not a negative thing, but because you're so organized. She's so organized. She's ready to go, but she still has her notebook and pen out and calculator ready to continue to work if I was going to keep you guys a couple minutes after. 
she's, I'm going to call her the clock. I can just look at her and I don't have to look at a clock. Instead of looking at a clock, I can look at Laura and she can tell me the time just by her body language. Excellent. The clock. I like it. It's not a negative thing. It's a compliment. I like that. A compliment to your organization. The clock says it's time to go. Be careful out there. Have a great weekend.